Hey, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. Um, at Home Depot today. Um, basically out looking for swatches of the 2023 colors of the year. Um, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it yesterday. It really does forecast the trends and many different things throughout the year, including yarn. But here I am at Home Depot, and I don't know if you guys know about this discount spot. If you are into crafting, and that is this guy here. This is what I call, like to call the scratch and dent lumber, or stuff that's not exactly straight. But if you were in it to craft it, there's some really good deals to be had here. 70% off lumber prices, and you guys know wood is going through the roof, basically. So what would I use some of this stuff for? Let's see. This would be great just to make a shelf out of. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, there's molding, two by fours. You kind of got to go and check the price though, which is the only kind of stinker head thing of this. It's not on the end. So we got to kind of figure out what it is and how much it costs normally. All this different stuff. There even is, there's a nice piece over here that is almost like, could be finished sign, signage. So this one. It's really nice, see how it has the beveled edge. It's got some nice pine knots in it. I know that that would be like a detraction for people making stuff, but when you're crafting, it's okay. Now this side is uh, textured. I don't know how much this is, but it's quite a long piece. Where's the name on this? It is a one by six by eight something. I don't know how much that normally is. So you'd have to go and check or have somebody ask. And the way that you know that it is it's basically scratching that lumber is they put purple spray paint on it. So down here it's on this side on the end. Sometimes it's a bit more obvious. Um, but that also is a nice piece. This guy here. Also a nice piece. I'm thinking signs or such. So yeah, if you guys have not ever checked out the scratch and dent thing in Home Depot, I really suggest that you do if you are into crafting. Especially if you're into like your kids doing some open play tool stuff or making projects for the kids. This is a way to save a lot of money on lumber. So yeah, check out the reduced lumber cart next time you're at Home Depot. I think Lowe's has one too. I'm going to Lowe's next, so we'll go check and see what how it is. Yeah. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can have um, so your friends can be affordably crafty too. And have a creative day, everyone. Da bye bye.